Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is releasing in week nine of Palace's Spring 2024 collection. Yeah, welcome back guys. Fresh off the week eight collaboration that we had with Gap, we now have the seasonal weekly release that is week nine. And that is what we're gonna be covering today. We'll cover the release details, the individual pieces, my thoughts on the pieces, and my thoughts on the week as a whole. How we'll cover all that is by using a Palace community page. We'll head on over to that page now and we'll start covering the release details for week nine. And here we are at the Palace community page, guys. If you wanna vote on the items yourselves, I'll have it linked down in that description section below. We'll quickly cover these release details and then we'll dive into the individual categories for this week. So all the items releasing in week nine will be releasing on Friday, March 29th. Uh, it'll be releasing a day later, March 30th on the Saturday for Japan, China, and Korea. Um, if you have any further questions on when and where and what time, um, I'll answer that in the comment section below, but it's 11 a.m. GMT time for the UK, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US, and then 11 a.m. in the uh, respective Asian time zones as well for whichever region, uh, region you're looking to pick up from. But yeah, that's everything we really have to cover about the release details. Um, let me know if you have any further questions, but now that we have covered that let's get into what we're getting let's kick it off let's start by covering the hats releasing in week nine which we have quite a few of all Gore-Tex I think yeah <laughs> all of them Gore-Tex how do we feel about this uh well from my understanding judging by the title these are the same hats I think I, I don't think they're different hats. I think this is just the other look to it. I mean, it is mentioned as two different listings here, but you know what I mean? I think they are the same. Regardless though, um, yeah, I think the way that I would wear it is just as a normal hat. And I think it is my favorite hat out of everything releasing this week. The bucket hats aren't doing too much for me, but uh, yeah, big, big Gore-Tex logos, big Palace logos, uh, single colored. I think the black one is the best one. I agree with all that. Uh, I would not want any of the camo stuff. Uh, the orange, I just wouldn't wear orange. Um, surprisingly, no orange bucket hat by the looks of it. And then we have the like icy blue as well. Uh, that is... I, I just, it wouldn't work too seamlessly in my wardrobe. So I think black is just the way to go with the hats this week. Moving into the t-shirts, we have the trail runner long sleeve. I feel the same way I do about the long sleeves here as I did to the hats. <laughs> black is the way to go. All the other colors, I'm not feeling it. To the trousers, we have the rodeo nylon trousers. They are a pair of painter pants, uh, double knees, and um, yeah, they come in nylon. Uh, it's interesting that they have such a utilitarian uh, design with a very lightweight material. Uh, you, you'd think that they would go with something a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more, you know, uh, resistant, but uh, no, they've gone with nylon. I mean, these would be super fun. They'd be super lightweight. Um, unless they went with a heavy nylon, but I doubt that they would. Yeah, I, I think in the black, that's really cool. Definitely got to give that one a thumbs up. But I also like the contrast of the green as well, Have the, how they have made the double knee uh, a different color. I think that's really nice as well. I have to give it a little bit of love as well. For the jackets, we have the Rodeo Nylon Jacket. Now, I actually really like the green one, except for the collar. They had to go with a black collar, didn't they? I, I feel like this this would have been a chef's kiss if we changed that collar to a brown. Just a nice, like, brown suede would have been really nice on this one. But black, it's still okay. I like the design across the top of the arms and across the top of the shoulders, though. Um, 
I think I'd have to go with the black one just because the collar works with the rest of the piece. I am disappointed that they chose this color for the collar, but I'll give it a thumbs up regardless as I do like those pieces, but we, we could have had a really awesome piece here this week and we've, we've just missed the margin on that. To the sweatshirts, which we have quite a few of, we have the Outline P3 crew neck. Uh, it comes in a olive, orange, lavender, blue, gray, black. Um, yeah, I don't mind it in like the black or the gray. I think those are some nice colors. The other colors, I just wouldn't wear it too often. We have the League hoodie. Why they did such a nice palace logo halfway through the kangaroo pouch is beyond me. I'm going to leave that one as a down vote. I just, 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 just push the logo up a little bit. Just push it up to the chest and then I'm happy. I don't know why we're doing it halfway through the pocket here. Just my thoughts on that one. We, again, we're so close to a really nice piece, but we've missed the mark. Then to match the long sleeve, the hat, you have the shorts, the trail runner shorts. Uh, yeah, I could go with the black shorts most definitely um i just think they are very very short and um yeah i think i'm gonna need them in a big size to make it look like i'm not just wearing some nylon underwear that's for sure <laughs> but uh yeah that is week nine it is quite a small week um no surprise to that though we're coming towards the end of the season uh how do i feel about this week i think the rodeo pieces are the highlight of week nine I think the outline crew neck sweater is not a bad piece as well. The rest of the week, I could sleep peacefully knowing that I'm going to miss out on it. You know what I mean? It's not, um, it's not a must have or a very sought after piece for me, but that's just my thoughts. Maybe you feel very differently. Maybe you really love the Gore-Tex hats or something like that. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about week nine, if it's a yes or a no for you down in that comment section below. And that is week nine covered, guys. We covered the release details. It's either dropping on the Friday, 29th of March for uh, the UK and the US, or the 30th for Asia. Now, I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on the week, and I also wanna hear what are you picking up from week nine? Maybe not anything after the Supreme collaboration that happened this week, which is fair enough, because it was a huge collaboration, but Maybe you're feeling some of the Gore-Tex uh, hats. I'm unsure. Let me know if you're going to be picking up anything from week nine down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace weekly releases, collaborations or collections, you know what I'm going to ask you for. I'm going to ask you for the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,835 subscribers before the end of the month. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we will be able to reach that milestone before the end of March. But I think that's everything I've got to add about week nine though, guys. I wish you the best of luck if you're going for something. Hopefully you can pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next streetwear talk video, until the next palace video, until the next drop list video in general, I'll catch you later.